Hey guys, it's Robin, and today I have quite the dapper little cake to share with all of you. We're going to be making this black and gold themed Mr. Wonderful Tuxedo Cake, and we're also going to be making a handsome little smash cake to go with it too. These cakes are so sweet, and they are the perfect cakes to celebrate a birthday so close to the new year. Well, let's get into it. This cake is going to consist of two 8 inch vanilla layers for our bottom tier and it's going to have three 6 inch vanilla layers in its top tier. And for our smash cake I've baked up a double barrel 4 inch cake and torted that one into three separate layers. So when making tiered cakes, I like to prepare each tier separately. So I've taken a little bit of frosting to attach my first layer of cake to my cake board. Then on top of that, I added a nice thick layer of buttercream. After that, I added my second layer of cake. Then I gave it a crumb coat covering it entirely in buttercream, sealing all those crumbs underneath. And don't forget, you don't have to get it perfectly smooth because we're going to be adding another layer of frosting. So for our six inch cake, because we're stacking this one, we're gonna ice it a little differently. So as you can see, I'm frosting it on a larger cake board, but I also have a smaller six inch cake card, the same size as the cake underneath. Now this smaller cake card is really important because it's gonna help us separate our cake from our larger cake board much more easily. And it's also gonna give us a nice surface area to support the weight of our top tier when we add some supports underneath after the cake has been stacked. So once your cake card is in place, you can stack, fill, crumb coat, and chill as you would normally. And then repeat all those steps on our four inch smash cake as well. Then we're gonna take all three cakes and leave those in the fridge until they have firmed up completely. So while we're waiting for our cakes to chill, we're gonna color some frosting. So I'm using some AmeriColor in super black and we're gonna add a little bit at a time to some vanilla American buttercream. Now my first squirt, I'm gonna use a generous amount because I have quite a bit of frosting and I want to be sure that it's going to be dark enough. So we're just gonna give this a stir until it's completely blended and see what shade we're left with. And we're gonna add a little bit more at a time until we reach a nice dark charcoal color. And then we're gonna let it develop and darken on its own from there. So while our frosting is doing its thing, we're gonna work on some cake bling. So using a stencil, I've cut out some bow ties, a large one and a smaller matching one for our tiny cake twin. And I've also cut out a napkin for the lapel of our larger cake. So we're just gonna add some finer details to this to make it look a little bit more realistic. And then we're gonna finish it off with some edible gold dust, just like I'm using on this personalized cake topper that I made for our cake. And for anybody who's curious, I'm using Lissel's Gold Dust, which I found on Amazon, and it is rated non-toxic and food safe. So because we can see both sides of our topper, I'm going to cover the front and the back. Now you can dilute your gold dust with some spirits and paint it on, but I prefer the soft effect of the dry brush, but you can do whichever one you like. So we're just gonna finish this little guy off by giving him a top hat with a golden sash and then we're gonna set this off to dry until it is completely firm. Now this one is just fondant and tylose and can become quite fragile, so gum paste is also a good option too. So now that we have our decorations finished, our icing has had lots of time to process and our cakes have had plenty of time to firm. So I filled up my piping bag with our now black icing and I'm applying a nice thick coat all over our entire cake and then I'm gonna smooth that out using a bench scraper. So I'm just gonna take my smoother and we're gonna hold it on approximately a 25 to a 30 degree angle against the side of our cake. And we're gonna push it around and around until we've smushed all of those air bubbles together and our cake is nice and smooth. So now that our sides are finished, it's time to smooth out the rest. So using an inward dragging motion, we're gonna clean up that little lip that formed all around that outer ledge. And then once I'm finished that, we're going to repeat that on our eight inch double layer and our four inch triple layer cakes as well. 
So I've popped my cakes back into the fridge and now we're going to give our topper some structural support. So I've had it drying for quite some time now and it is fairly firm. So I went ahead and I shaped some flower wires strategically to fit inside the letters and then I used some strips of fondant to attach them into place. And then to finish it off and make it a little less noticeable, I dusted it with a little bit more gold dust and now the topper is ready for our cake. How handsome is that? So our make ahead decorations are done and our cakes are nice and firm. So now it's time to stack our cake. So I'm just using some regular straws for supports and I'm inserting them, marking off the height, pulling it out, snipping it off, and then sticking it back in. So these are actually really easy to use and I do highly recommend them for smaller tier cakes because they will have no trouble holding up the weight. So now that we have our top tier into place, I'm gonna take my smoother and we're gonna carefully fill in that little space, leaving us with a perfect blank canvas so now we can dress our cake. So for the shirt, I just cut a large white triangle with a white strip down the middle and four black buttons stuck into place. So for that part, I didn't actually use a stencil. I just cut a large triangle, then I measured my cake, then I trimmed my triangle so it would fit, and then I stuck it all into place. So once that was finished, I decided where I wanted my pocket to go, and I also added my little handkerchief. And then I went ahead and rolled out some black fondant and made the lapel. So for this part, I also did not use a stencil. I just kind of eyeballed it and hoped for the best. And I think it turned out pretty good. What do you guys think? So now we're just going to snip these little scraps off the top and add the rest of our gold bling. So as you guys can see, I've also went ahead and made some beautiful block font letters, which I've also colored with some gold. So we can add a name to the front and also tie together all the gold on the cake. And I really do feel like it is the perfect font to match the style of the cake. I just love it. It's feeling very 007, I think. So now he just needs a bow tie and his little topper with a top hat. And he's looking pretty stylish indeed. And now we just need to add the decorations to his mini me. So I made the shirt and the lapel all in one piece for this little one. And then I've added the tiny little buttons separately. Now I broke my cute little bow when I was sticking it on, but that's completely okay. A little dab of water, stick it right on there and you won't even notice it anyway. All right, our final piece, a cute little curly mustache to add a little extra class. And that is it guys, isn't it so sweet? Well, I hope you all liked the cakes and I hope you enjoyed the video too. If you did, don't forget to leave me lots of love and hit that like and subscribe button too. Thanks for watching guys and I will see you next time when I have another awesome cake to share with all of you.